Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted to go over how to fix a problem. Maybe you clicked on a transaction and removed it because you didn't think it belonged and then you find out later when you go to reconcile that it actually did belong and now you got to put it back and how do you find it and how do you put it back and do you have to undo the bank rack and you don't have the accountant's version? How do you put it back? without having to undo all the transactions because undoing a bank rec if you don't have the accountant's version is very tedious. On a side note, if you need me to undo it for you, I do have the accountant's version. So if you're stuck and you're trying to do that, you can always reach out to me. I can definitely go in if you add me on as a user for temporarily, I can definitely go in and undo a bank rec if you really need to undo it. Let's go to the account. I'll show you how to fix it. If it's just one or one a transaction or a couple of transactions, I'll show you how to fix it quickly without having to undo a whole bank rec, which is the purpose of this video. So I'm going to come to my bank account and I'm going to go to reconcile it. So let's come over here and just go to reconcile because I actually am too far into the screen. So I want to show you the screen that it shows on. So I'm going to reconcile my Bank of America account. And the first thing I notice is hold on, your account isn't ready to reconcile yet. And this is one of the features I like about QuickBooks Online. Desktop doesn't give you the warning. It does have a report you can look it up to find, you know, reconciliation discrepancy report. But if you're not paying attention, you don't check the beginning balance, it, it you don't even know that it's off until you start to go through to reconcile and say, why am I missing it? And then you notice it. Here they let you know, a nice little orange box. I hate all the pop-ups that come on with the new reconcile. <laughs> No matter how many times I click them off, I've got so many clients and clicking them off, I'd like to click them off globally. But anyway, so getting back to this, so you'll see it says, hold on, your account isn't ready to reconcile yet. The beginning balance is off by 500. So you'll come here and says, we'll help you fix it. And here's your report, your reconciliation discrepancy report. And here's the transaction that was changed. And it says it at, it's been unreconciled in the register and you can click to view it here. It was a deposit on 331. So after you reconciled the last time, it's going to show you that it was unreconciled. So you can see that my daughter works for me. So I want to compare it and see the changes. And you can see here that it was manually added and it was changed from reconciled to not cleared. So this is a great screen because it actually shows you, you can see the changes or you can see all the details on the account, who did it, when it was done, you know, which user did it. It's a really wonderful thing. So I can see that, you know, my daughter actually went in here and reconciled the account, but then I went in and reconciled it, which I did because I wanted to show you this on the screen. So I need to find this transaction. It was a transfer from PayPal to Bank of America, and it was a deposit in the Bank of America side. And I need to see if I can find it and reconcile it. So how is the easiest way to find it? Well, I can come here and find it, but this isn't really helpful. It's gonna bring it on the screen and I find it, but now how do I fix it? I want to re-reconcile it. So you have a couple of methods you can do it. So if I come over here to the reconcile screen, I can reconcile the entire month here, which are all pre-clicked because they came in with a bank fee. And you can see this one is missing. And if I just click here, it's going to be reconciled and I can hit finish now. Um, if you're not to that point and you want to find it in the bank register, you can actually click on your bank register and actually have it open and you can force a reconciliation. So I can actually come over here. I found the transaction that was reconciled and it is no longer reconciled. And if I just click in this box a few times, it's now reconciled again. I click save. You're going to see a warning. It's going to tell you that the transaction was downloaded. Are you sure you want to edit it? I'm going to hit yes. And then to keep your books and balance under the gear icon, you should reconcile through the reconciliation feature and not do what I'm doing here, forcing it back but it was unchecked and that can happen when you're using the tab button, you can accidentally uncheck and unreconcile something. So now if I come back to this bank register and come back in and reconcile it, you'll see the warning box is gone. So you'll notice that there's no more yellow warning box telling me that the balance is off. So if I come in to resume the reconciliation, it's zero and I'm happy and I can click finish now and I'm gonna say, yay, you've got success, you've reconciled your account. So that's the two ways you can do it. The easiest way, obviously, is just to go into the bank reconciliation screen and re-reconcile it when you re when you reconcile the, the month that you're reconciling. In this case, I was re-reconciling a March transaction that was while I reconciled June. It's not a big deal, but it gets it back, it gets it done. If you want to do it 
manually you can click find the transaction in the register and just do what I did. I forced it back to be reconciled because it was unreconciled and that's an option as well. So I wanted to show you the two ways of doing it. I hope that was helpful. It's a short video but I thought it would be nice to show you how to fix that one window manually before you jump into your bank rec. Sometimes it's easier to do it that way. If you have any questions or like any future videos or have any problems with bank feeds, that seems to be like the number one problem that I see on the forum. So if you have any problems with bank feeds that give you headaches, let me know. Feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Bye now.